Okay, I'm joined at this time by the United Wrestling World Television Champion, Papo Escu. Yep. Papo, in our main event this week, you're going to be defending that title against another oh, oh, former... Oh, hold on a second. ...television... Straighten your back up, Papa. You're amongst friends, all right? It's the bodega, Papi. I'm the king fat boy. Jaime! Que pasa? Now listen, I'm about to go out there right now, and I'm about to face the biggest opportunity of my life. This is what I'm hearing. So why don't you remind me just who that is? Who's my big opportunity? Mr. Outlandish, Zicky Dice. Yeah, that's exactly who said that. Zicky Dice, the blocks are just a little bit different from the last time you was here. Just a little bit more grimy, because I'm here. I'm from the bodega, Gorilla Ray Gordo, the king, fat boy, Papo Esco. Nice to meet you. I'm the United Wrestling World Television Champion. And tonight, you're going to get more than you can deal with. You like that? I like Say it. Say something. I like it. Let's head to the ring. Turn and with a big time opportunity, outlandish Zicky Dice, always with that signature pink fanny pack, soaking it up here at the Irvine Improv, is the outlandish one. Looking to become once again a world television champion, of course, former NWA world television champion. Yeah, had a 268 day reign. Or losing that title on our own primetime live when he took on the Pope. Right, you are looking to rule TV once again is Zicky Dice. Talk about dancing to the beat of your own drum. This guy dances to the beat of his, his own instrument. I don't know. <laughs> Championship over longtime champion, timeless Levi Shapiro. Yeah, defeated a champion who pulled out all the stops in every defense. Every dirty trick in the book to still escape with the championship. So what a, what a moment it was at the red carpet rumble for Papo Esco to become champion. And just the look on his face says it all for Papo Esco. Yeah. History at Commerce Casino and that Bodega Street fight. And putting the title up for grabs here in our main event. And you mentioned Zicky Dice, no stranger to television title reigns. High stakes main event here at the Irvine Improv. Here to set the stage as only he can, Adnan Karachi. Save that! Give me my belt back! The following contest is scheduled for one fall, and it is for the United Television Championship. <laughs> Introducing first the challenger from Cocoa Beach, Florida, weighing in at 223 pounds, outlandish Zicky Dice. And introducing his opponent, representing the Bodega, weighing in at 301 pounds. He is the United Television Champion, the King Fat Boy, Papo Esco. Stage is set. United World Television title on the line. Greats have held that title over the years, the likes of Willie Mack, Scorpio Sky. Incredible. Papo Esco, he wants to put his name right there among the very best of them, and certainly diving in with, with both feet against the former TV champion himself, Zicky Dice. Zicky Dice, a lot of big match experience, has uh, been competing in Impact Wrestling as well. Boy, what an atmosphere here in the Irvine Improv. Uh 
Oh, oh turn your back yeah. on Zicky Dice. Zicky unloading with, with everything he's got on it. Oh my goodness, he's look got, at this. He's got Popo prone. Can he get, oh, Popo now just unloading with those shots. Boy, what an attempt there by Zicky Dice. Could you imagine all that body weight coming down if he had scored with the power bomb? Maybe he could have put the big guy away. It's been a, just such a big time upset. It's certainly with that early in the matchup to score a victory in the avalanche from Papo Esco. Papo Esco, the champion, turning things around though in a hurry. I mean, just the size, Ooh. the strength, the mean streak. Boy, that, that head might as well say Brunswick on it, very bo <laughs> bowling ball-esque. And that just crumble into the canvas is the challenger. Cuts that ball bull-esque visage, does Papo Esco, and he uses that hard head of his for incredible effectiveness. On display right now, Zicky Dice reeling. And now, oh, yeah, boy, using that cranium as a weapon. Yes, one of, one of his best weapons, Zicky Dice, thumb to the eye. Trying to equalize the situation, point to his head like it's some type of ring acumen and now taunting for good measure. Well, that's a weak point on anybody, even somebody as big and strong as the television champion. Shoulder block, down goes Zicky again. I mean, it's gonna be tough to figure out the riddle. That is, oh, like at this reverse splash. Oh my gosh. And I, Near fall, two count. Yikes. Hey, man, hey, all that body weight coming down on Zicky Dice, that'll take the starch out of you in a I, hurry. I don't know that I've ever seen that from a champion. That was, in essence, a standing Vader bomb. Yes, incredibly impressive. I think Esco knows everyone's going to be trying to knock him off that perch, adding some more to his game, but that's an old favorite. In to the cover. And I'll tell you, trouble in paradise, not only the title of Zicky's next big uh, twitch, you know, wrestling event, that's what he's experiencing right now yeah. in a whole heap of trouble. Trouble in paradise on April Fool's Day, but Zicky assures us that it, that it will happen. It's no prank, it's no joke. Zicky Dice. Out there calling for a timeout. Yeah. I don't think the champ's gonna have any part of it. Yeah, I think, I think you're out of timeout, Zicky. But ma making the, you know, this is, it's, as much as I don't like it, it's a smart move trying to Run away, make make Popo use you know some of that conditioning, but Popo just sort of stalking him like Michael Myers, not expending a ton of energy, just keeping within striking distance. Yeah, you don't want to trip. Yes, <laughs> he'll exactly. be there, just like Michael Myers or Jason Voorhees. But you're right, cat and mouse tactics. And now you know second man in the ring. Oh, oh yeah, bring him in the hard way. I don't think so. Not this time. Zicky. As soon as we say that, Zicky had another rabbit to pull out of the hat. Hit him down though. Two for one special at the bodega there. Yikes. Zicky Dice in control. You mentioned his Twitch show. Zicky Dice says he, he wants to put the T in TV. He wants to make that stand for Twitch. As my, yeah. I shudder to think of what the V might stand for. Zicky Dice finds a way to crawl back into this thing. TV title on the line. We got to take a break. Our main event continues next. At the Wrestle Center, the man beast, Rhino, goes one on one with K2 Merck. Plus, a new championship belt will be introduced. Get your tickets right now at championshipwrestlingmemphis.com. At Car Shield, we're always looking for the brightest talent. Thank you for calling Car Shield. How may I help you? This style and profile and limousine ride, wheel and deal and son of a gun is here to tell you that Car Shield administrators make sure you don't have to pay for expensive auto repairs. Woo! We want our employees to be themselves. Woo! We encourage teamwork. And woo! Where's my yogurt? Woo! How'd that taste? But at the end of the day, it's all about the customer. Car Shield's doing it better than anybody else alive. They're the money saving, roadside assisting, tow truck getting, rental car providing, son of a guns protecting you from expensive car breakdowns. And one more thing Car Shield cars go farther. Woo! Call 800 952 1286. Boo all you want. All I see are dollar signs. The overcharger can charge for expensive car repairs because your warranty expired and there's nothing you can do about it. And overcharging, your days are done. Woo! The Nature Boys teamed up with CarShield. 
the Bill Lauren, mechanic of your choosing, Auto Avenger, and we're treating bullies like him to a buffet of, woo, car shield cars go farther, woo. And you don't want to be cornered with the one-man Lucha Gang. The champion was in control. Look at this, a little schoolboy using that body weight. Oh, my gosh, history to be made. No. Almost the one-man school bully was Zicky Dice there. Could have been new oh, television. What is, what is he? Oh, my gosh, it's disgusting. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> the outlandish antics of Zicky Dice. Boy, talk about pulling out all the stops. Oh, God. Yeah, he's... Z Zicky's got to be careful because he, you know, upset a man like Papo Esco to wit. You're going to have a rough night if you let him get an opening. Yeah, you see now Zicky trying to, to beg off. Yeah, maybe uh, instantly regretting his antics. Well, you know, Papo Esco has tried to utilize the ropes a couple times in this matchup, almost caught, cost him early, but now. Succession of strikes, shot after shot by the champion. All out the back door, pulled the rug out from under him. Zicky Dice utilizing some serious elusiveness to continue to shift momentum. Now, what does what he have in mind for, for Popo from the, the second rope here? Just trying to neck crank into a, oh, oh my. Wow, God. thought it was gonna be a blockbuster, but took him head first. Uh, and, and Popo Esco, boy. That was lucky there, the positioning, because this thing might have been over. I don't think Esco saw that coming whatsoever. Huge high impact move by the challenger, yeah, Zicky like Dice. A blockbuster cutter. Gotta believe that if they got a little bit more distance from the rope, could have been new TV champion. Boy, anybody else but Papa with that formidable cranium, I think the lights would have been out and a new champion would have been crowned. As it stands, it's Zicky Dice trying to find impactful purchase with those shots, but it is Papo Esco saying King Fat Boy runs this ring. But a stinging jab back the other way. I'll tell you, Zicky Dice, he brought his A game. Uh -oh. He's, he brought the fight. Uh-oh, might do, be do, taking a trip. Do you hear the ring of the bell coming in the front door? He's in the, he's in the corner store now. He sure is. Locked in that corner store, oh. and boy, things going bad from bad to worse. Out of the frying pan into the fire. Oh! And is the champ hungry? Starving. Indeed. Okay. Yes. There's that big shot there by Papo Esco. Oh my gosh! There's a long shopping list in the corner store for Zicky Dice. If the corner uh, bodega might be serving up some pancakes. Oh, now going for it again, this counter. He's by, I think he's, oh, bit, he he's biting did. him. He bit the thigh and he scores with the power bomb. New champ, new champ, no. Unbelievable. Zicky Dice biting at the leg of Papo Esco to get him over for that power bomb. You don't have to like the tactics, but it sure was effective. I mean, you got to do whatever it takes to even the, the odds when you're in there with somebody as dominant. And now he's over here at the timekeeper's table. He's got the television title. You haven't won that. You haven't earned that. Zicky Dice once again wants to rule television at 260 plus day reign. I wouldn't say he was the most fighting champion we'd ever seen. He's got to be careful. He's going to get disqualified here. Can't win the TV title that way. Yeah, he's really flirting with disaster here. The official Scarlett wrestles the title away from the would-be champion. And now look at Oh, oh he's got oh, that fanny pack. He, I, that, that knocked Popo out. Oh, what's in that thing? No, come on, not, not like, like this. this. No. no. Oh, dig it down deep. Esco barely slid that shoulder out of there. I want to see what's in yeah. that fanny pack. Because he collided with that pink fanny pack, and the lights just went dim on Papo Esco, now struggling to make it back to his feet. Yeah, I don't care who you are. Nobody takes out Esco with a single shot. He's got you know, lead, bricks, something in there. Look at this. Esco, though, with the slam, hook of the leg, digging down deep, and finds a way to win. Here is your winner, and still United Television Champion, Papo Esco. Papo Esco found himself in one hell of a fight for the television title. The reign continues. It's going to be a party at the bodega. We'll see you next time. And once again, it's time to fight on on the all-new Championship Wrestling presented by Carship. So long, everybody.